unveiled. After years of discussion, we now know what may become of the Brent Spence Bridge. Chopper 9 bringing you this exclusive look at the bridge tonight. Discounted tolls for local travelers are just part of a new plan to speed up construction. But what about the impact on businesses and their customers who have traveled that span for 50 years? Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live with the plan and the reaction to it. Tom. Well, it's a four point plan. It includes trimming the $2.6 billion cost. Ohio and Kentucky sharing the costs equally. And basically, a financing plan be put in place by the end of the year. But as you said, it includes tolls deeply discounted for frequent users. A dollar is a figure that's been often mentioned. That is causing many local businesses here in Covington to examine how this will impact their bottom line. Cork and Steel sits in the shadow of the Brent Spence Bridge, and many customers have to cross it to get their orders. Don Corkin says he's resigned to the fact that drivers may have to chip in for a new span. We're probably going to have to have tolls, unless they can figure some way not to steal from the gas tax they do in Washington. But a plan is already in place, so customers won't shy away from his business. We're prepared to, with our customers, give them some kind of an allowance. Uh, so they're not penalized for coming across this bridge. Ken Appling has commuted from Westwood to his job at Corkin for 18 years. A dollar toll per trip might find him seeking an alternative route. If you're talking two bucks a day, you know, dollar over, dollar back. Uh, so do the math, you're at, uh, you know, $500 a year, and that could add up substantially. Rust heating and cooling sits right below the 50-year-old bridge, and President Steve Morrison knows it needs an upgrade. But he wishes there was another way to do it. I'm not exactly in favor of tolls. I think that taxes should be covering the replacement of bridges and roads, but it doesn't seem like it's going to get built without tolls. Half of Rusk's trucks are based in Kentucky, half in Ohio, to quickly get to customers. And a strategy is in place to handle tolling costs. And we're certainly not going to pass that expense on to a customer whether it's on the Kentucky side or on the Ohio side if we have to cross the bridge. Kentucky Governor See Steve Bashir and Ohio Governor John See Kasich say tolls should not hinder starting construction now. Of the river about what's gonna happen. And of course, not everybody agrees that tolling is a really good idea. Coming up new at 6, the protesters who were outside the governor's news conference while they were speaking inside. Find out what they had to say. We'll take you there. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Covington. Thank you, Tom. The toll cost for a new bridge estimated at $1. Now, we were wondering how that compared with some other bridges. Take a look. The Golden Gate in San Francisco is $7. The nation's busiest bridge connecting New Jersey and New York costs 14 And if you head to warm and sunny Florida and you cross the Sunshine Skyway Bridge in Tampa, it's a much more reasonable toll at $1.25.